Welcome to Shepherd Center's Suprapubic Catheter Change Instructional Video. Today, we will be removing an existing SP tube and inserting a new one. To begin with, we need to get together our supplies. We will need washcloths with warm water and soap, and washcloths with just warm water. We will need hand hygiene supplies, whatever you need to wash your hands. We will need a 10 milliliter or 10 cc lure lock syringe. That's a syringe with a screwing locking mechanism on the end. We will also need either a catheter change system with a catheter included or a catheter change system without a catheter and whatever size catheter is either appropriate for the person we're changing it for or was ordered by the physician. To start with, we'll have to remove an, the existing SP tube. To begin with, the first thing you wanna do is clamp the SP tube. You can clamp it with an alligator clip. In this case, we're using rubber band, whatever you have, they can clamp the catheter without breaking the tubing itself. We wanna leave it clamped for about 30 minutes. That's to allow urine to fill the bladder so that when we insert the new SP tube, we get urine return and we're sure that the SP tube is in the right spot. So after it's been clamped for about 30 minutes, we're going to lay the person we're changing the catheter for supine, that is flat on their back. We're gonna wash our hands we could do this before we put the person on the back, but we'll wash our hands. We're then gonna get ready to take the catheter out. So we're going to get our 10 cc or 10 milliliter lure lock syringe. We're gonna get one washcloth. That's just to clean up if we make a mess as we pull the catheter out. We will <clears throat> grab the catheter and place it vertically. We will attach our lure lock syringe to the balloon port shown here. We'll rotate on tight. We will then remove our clamp or rubber band or wherever we're using to clamp the catheter. We'll then pull back on the syringe. Fluid will fill the syringe. We'll pull back until no more fluid fills the syringe. We will unattach the syringe. We will smoothly pull out the catheter. We'll use a washcloth to clean up if we need to. And we will discard the existing system. Next, we will wash around the urinary opening with a soapy washcloth, then just a wet, rinsy washcloth. And we'll get ready to insert our new SP tube. To begin with, we're going to perform, perform hand hygiene again. And then we're gonna get our catheter change system ready. Again, you may have two items at this point. You may have the catheter change system and then a separate catheter, or you may have the system that includes the catheter itself. The catheter change system is a sterile field. We will open the sterile field by moving away from ourselves, then left and right with the field itself, and then down towards us. At the top of the catheter change system, you will have a drape. That's to prevent any, uh, any spillage when you, as you're changing the catheter. It should go wherever you choose to put it, it should go shiny side down. Next, if we're adding a catheter to the catheter change system, in other words, we have a system that doesn't already have a catheter in it, we will remove carefully begin to remove the outer wrapping of the catheter and then without touching anything in the sterile field we will drop that catheter onto the sterile field In this example, we will continue with 
the catheter system that already has a catheter attached to it, so we're going to remove the catheter we dropped in. So next, we're going to take our sterile gloves, place them away from the sterile field, and put them on. When you put on the sterile gloves, you, they will open up with the cuff turned inside out. Tyler here will grab the inside of the cuff, put the sterile gloves on, looking carefully for his thumb to start with. Once the gloves are on, our hands are sterile, so we don't want to touch anything except, except the other hand, once they're both on, or anything inside the catheter change system that is sterile. Putting on these gloves can be a little bit difficult. Just give yourself time. Next, you may have another additional piece of drape. We really don't use that for our SP tube changes, so you can discard that or use it if you uh, want to uh, make sure you don't make any kind of mess. Next, we will remove the blue outer wrapping from the catheter, being careful not to let the catheter drop outside of the sterile field. If you are adding a catheter to this system, you would also remove that blue packaging and then attach the catheter to the bedside bag that is inside the system. Next, we will take our betadine, we will pour it into the catheter tray, making sure that the person for whom we're changing the catheter is not allergic to betadine. Next, we would take the lubricant included in the change system, we would squirt it into the catheter tray, we would then take the catheter and lay it on the lubricant, lubricating it up for insertion. Next, we would take the included fluid syringe. We would attach it to the balloon port. Now we're ready to clean our urinary opening and insert our catheter. Different catheter tray systems have different item, uh, different tools for cleaning. This particular one has swabs. Oftentimes you may get um, cotton balls with tweezers. Either one works just fine. To clean with, we will start with the betadine starting right at the urinary opening and moving in circles outward. We don't want to cover the same area twice. We we'll discard our swab, do it again, starting again at the urinary opening, going in an outward motion, again not covering the same area twice. Three times and we are done ready to insert our catheter. When we insert our catheter, we want to go in about four inches, feeling for the catheter hitting the back of the bladder. Be careful we don't touch anything with the catheter as we insert it. We're going to insert our catheter, looking for urine return in the catheter tubing. This is a simulation, so we won't see urine return in there, but once we do, we can go a little bit further if we feel like it, but we should hit the back of the bladder about four inches and then we will inflate our balloon. Once the balloon is inflated, we will pull back on the catheter, make sure it's seated in the bladder and doesn't come out. We will remove our syringe. Then we will take our washcloths Starting with soapy washcloth, we will wash around the urinary opening, washing off the betadine. Then we will use a warm rinse towel, again washing around the urinary opening, washing off that betadine. If we're using a leg strap or a strap to secure the catheter, we would apply that at this point, making sure that the catheter isn't tugging. That concludes our instructional video on inserting a suprapubic tube.